Play Mariner, England squad doesn't fill me with confidence. 254, former England international Paul Mariner reacts to Gareth. Southgate's 27-man roster as the three Lions prepare to face the Netherlands and Italy. 254, 10.30 p.m. BST Gareth Southgate's attempts to hone England into a World Cup winning squad has extended to a ban on food being served at the Starbucks Cafe inside the team hotel at the National Football Center. At St. George's Park, a source has told the SPNFC, Southgate's squad are currently training at St. George's Park ahead of Friday's friendly against the Netherlands in Amsterdam and next Tuesday's Wembley clash with Italy. But players linking up with the squad this week have discovered that the Starbucks cafe within the Hilton Hotel which houses the team during international breaks has had all food removed from display for the duration of the England get-together. Sandwiches and muffins have been taken off the menu, with only coffee, tea, and bottled water available to customers, playing staff or otherwise. Starbucks staff have also been told not to serve syrup and cappuccinos for the players. A source told ESPNFC, Starbucks are not allowed to serve food in the cafe while the players are staying at the hotel, Southgate is not. The first manager to impose strict dietary rules on his squad, who eat food prescribed by a dietitian and prepared by a team chef. Fabio Capello took tomato ketchup off the menu during his spell in charge of the England team, while David Moyes was criticized by Rio Ferdinand for ending. The tradition of oven chips for Manchester United players on the night before games during his brief reign as Old Trafford manager during the 2013-14 season. Pep Guardiola, meanwhile, stopped pizza and fruit juice being served to his players following his arrival as Manchester City. Manager in the summer of 2016, Guardiola also introduced a post-match routine of nuts for his City players.